What is going on guys, McRaptor here, back in Demon's Souls Remake. This time we are doing a boss guide on how to beat the Flame Lurker in the 2-2 area of Demon's Souls. This also works on the old school 2009 version as well. Flame Lurker is actually a very challenging boss, and there's a strong reason that you want to beat him earlier in the game than later, and that's because when you get his boss soul, you can use that to get additional upgrades at the Blacksmith. Uh, which is really nice to have earlier in the game, but since he's such a tough boss, a lot of people will put him off. But we're going to show you a super easy way to beat Flame Lurker without having to put him off until you're super high soul level. In fact, you can beat him as one of your first bosses in the game if you so choose. Now, he is very challenging, and so what we recommend is coming in with a ranged build. One solid option here, and what we're going to show in this video, is how to beat him with a bow-based build. And so, to, to do this, you don't need much. You obviously need a bow. Either the compound short bow or the long bow work just fine. Those are quality bows, so you want to focus on raising strength and dexterity. However, you're going to come in, hopefully, with magic arrows, which don't really scale with that physical damage anyway. So, a lot of your damage is, is going to come straight from the magic arrows, which only cost about 200 souls each. So as long as you come in with a decent stack of those arrows, it'll give you opportunity to take take the boss down um, and hopefully have some left over because you will miss certain shots. So the strategy for any range build, whether that's coming in with a bow or if using a pure caster build as well, which also works fine on him. Again, he is weak to magic damage. So magic arrows, magic spells, like, you can use anything that fires a projectile at him that, you know, does magic damage is perfect. Uh, but the strategy here is basically to kite him around the room as much as you can. As, so as you can see in the video here, we are literally just, you know, surviving or hanging on, trying to avoid as much damage as possible, keeping him at ideally medium to long range. When he gets into short range like here, he'll start to jump towards you. You need to continue to dodge away and get out of there. A lot of his attacks are somewhat delayed, and so they they kind of mess with your head in terms of when you should roll effectively, so you do need to be careful of that. But as long as you can survive a single hit from him without dying, and you come in with plenty of grass, you should be fine without much effort here. And the pillars actually are great support, so you can kind of play the pillar strats here by kind of just kiting him around the room, using the pillars for cover. If you need to heal, that's a great opportunity there. Uh, the Thief Ring can also help you. He will lose track of you with the Thief Ring on, right? It, it reduces enemy detection. And so uh, if you get far enough away, he'll actually completely lose track of you. And so the Thief Ring is very helpful. Not required. Uh, obviously, you want to have the Cling Ring on, assuming that you're not in body form, so you can have as much help as possible. Um, and come in with lots of arrows or lots of spices to refill your magic meter that's it see he's just lost track of us here right because we we were behind the pillar for long enough and he had like no opportunity uh to see where we were and so we got several free shots in and he's kind of lost track of us again um again in the demon souls remake they really haven't updated the ai on many of the bosses and lurker's the same here the one main thing um, and why this guide is so important is that there was a super easy cheese in the 2009 version where you could get him stuck behind a rock and just basically like uh, just kill him without any trouble. But Flame Lurker's boss arena has been updated, uh, but his AI is still as bad as always. So you can get him to lose track of you. You can uh, run around pillars. As long as you kite him around the room, uh, you will be fine. And again, this can be done with a bow build ideally with magic arrows uh, and, or, or uh, pure magic. For melee strats, uh, my recommendation there is just to get good and learn his moves. There aren't any like super easy ways to beat him that way, but if you insist upon a melee build, obviously you want to have armor and a shield with high, high fire resistance because if it wasn't already clear, this is a fire demon and he does a lot of fire damage. And then obviously any fire-based weapon, or attacks would be very ineffectual on, on this guy. So if you want to do melee, you're going to want to come in with plenty of health, learn his moves, and um, just, you know, attack once or twice at a time. Don't get greedy. It's the same thing with the range builds, too. Like, usually you want to hit him once or twice and then kind of see where he goes and respond to him. And that's actually a good strat for almost every boss in Demon Souls. You know, attack once or twice, 
learn the moves and then kind of back out and let them engage with you and only counterattack. That's, that's pretty much what, what we do this, this whole time here. And as you can see, even though we're using a bow, which is not a super high damage build, it's doing good damage. And uh, it's doing enough such damage that we're actually trying to get a uh, skill kill here. So we're going to try to line this guy up for a nice little ending no scope. Uh, you do not unlock any trophies for this, but it makes you feel cool like you're playing Call of Duty Souls. And let's see if we can line up the no scope. There we go. Done. So that is how you beat the Flame Lurker in Demon's Souls Remake. I hope the guide was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, please, please, please check out ggsouls.com. It is a brand new Soulsborne tip guide and news site. It covers Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Sekiro, Bloodborne, even Elden Ring when, when we get more information on that. So check that out now on ggsouls.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.